Hello tacticians and strategists, admirals and generals, welcome back to Strategic Mind, the Pacific and playing hardball. And welcome back to our glorious Imperial Japanese campaign for the conquest of Borneo, Celebs and New Guinea. And we've made some good progress here on Celebs. We to control of two of the oil fields. We need to capture three of them though. And the pr real price is on Borneo, uh, where there are three of them, right? So um, then we destroyed a huge fleet of aircraft over here in the Banda Sea. Yeah. And well, we are not even talking anymore about the uh, the heavy cruiser over here, right? There is a huge submarine threat though, and we are supposed to destroy six, which is quite a number, and we already caught one. So that's the situation here. And we are in a relatively good position here, and the, our flamethrowers were actually we're supposed to take over this artillery fort, which is really nasty. This one will really block the whole island over here. Uh, but we can't right now, unless we get rid of this tank here. An M3 steward rolled in. Fortunately, they were not able to cause any losses. And the idea would no be that our tanks our actually box. drive directly into the uh, city of Sami, but they will, I think they will come under fire. So We're I guess it's better. No we need to destroy the tank say. first. Yeah, so Take this they will hold us breaths. off for one more turn. But well, we can't help it. There's also we can't we can't help with planes, right? So this one's the closest. The weight of our bombs makes and me they are out of range and I'm also not willing to fly any planes like beyond this mountain here at the moment because we don't know if there might be anti air around, so Yeah, and we've concentrated our aircraft we all over here, right? Death. When we destroyed be that destroyer. Or when we sank that destroyer, yeah. So let's I'm just continue position. here like so. All systems. Operation. Guys, shoot them. Infantry going we'll in win the fight. and finishing them off. Of Good. These poor barbarians didn't even realize who killed them. The blood of ancient warriors. Things can stay outside the range. Yeah, and then the big question is. Our army grunt friends will most likely run into the fire, so let's rather we block them. The and of course we should never usually ride up glory, our Avengers. trucks like in the front line. That's really stupid usually, but we can just hope that there's no one here. I mean, the interrogation information would have re revealed if anybody would be here, right? And I guess they trust on the defensive fire here we so let's let just go like so let's hope and trust that no one comes over um but i think it's it should be fine right otherwise we would have seen someone here anyway because these guys our scouts so and they would have seen someone anyway Although I'm not entirely sure. Right now we are on the trucks, right? Yeah, I mean, but it will be fine, I guess. So let's not think too much about this. And then here, the Pacific. Uh, Observing the horizon. We need to defend our oil transport. So you. Go here. Entering the designated area. Oh, we found a sub. Repeat, we found a sub. Submarine. Submarine identified. A gato. By the way, I was thinking something. Like over here. Why can our subs not shoot at land? We have a little gun, right? 
But this one is an anti-air gun, but we can't even shoot it at plane, so there's something amiss. Maybe our crews are not correctly trained. Well, all we can do here is shoot a torpedo at the guy. So he's got a shell hole. Imperial destroyer Anybody in range? No. Oh, that's most unfortunate. But the hunt is on now. You guys need to... Why did you not repair your depth charges by now? Yeah, well. Let's hope these guys will not slip away. So maybe let's fan out like so. Yeah, and then the big question is what to do with our battleship. So the my idea was that the main mission to destroy this fort over here to create this gap. They have a dead angle. So our flamers can actually go in and take over this island. That's the main purpose. That's what they are going to do after taking out this fort here. And then we'll just fly them over there. Um, and then the, the two, they will take over the fort. And then they can fire at us and then our ships will come in and shoot at the at this infantry and the entire air that is here, right? Okay, so. Good day, and of course, we need this one here for this destroyer. And by the way, let's invest a little bit. We, we need the information. So we already had done it, I think, like, like this or something. So we know that there are no coastal batteries here. So this is like really good landing. A really good landing site, but maybe let's do it like so. And we know that there is anti-air there, I think, right or here. So let's do it like th like this, and then we see from here we should see all the area here. And also if they have maybe someone here in the harbor or something. Oh, oh, what's that? A big ship. What contraption is that? A devilish con contraption with four guns? King George V class, oh my goodness. An abomination for the Imperial Japanese Empire. What abomination is that? That is very scary, a very scary abomination. The King George V class, so the, the Prince of Wales, that was also King George V class, have been has been sunk. Now it's March 1942, like in December 41. Uh, it was sunk, I think, in around Malaysia or something. The British Empire sent the King, uh, the Prince of Wales uh, as a deterrence. So they, they brought another one here, huh? Okay, that's very scary, so we need to check out what's going on. But at the same time, we can't really delay our invasion of, uh, of Borneo. Otherwise, we will not get to the uh, oil rigs. So that's really bad. Uh, so we need, we need to send our submarines. Where's our submarine? There. So the submarine needs to go here. No more submarine hunting we have two destroyers here so I think we need to relocate a bit against two destroyers so this will be a major naval battle but and on the other hand so I think we need to sink this one here with submarines and and by airplanes and he also has overpower this guy has overwatch planes and there we don't really know. Are there new orders from our godly emperor? We have we need more information though. So there's one enter air there, not on the airfield. One, two, three, four. So let's start one here. Just to make sure. Verifying the enemy's location. 
if it's the old rig. Oh yeah, they do have someone here. That's a little army there. A Daimler Dingo. Like, meanwhile, on the Atlantic coast, there are British raids on the Atlantic wall. Uh, and we encountered some Daimler Dingoes there, right? So if you know my other Let's Play series uh, with Panzer Corps Gold, that's quite funny. So they can, like, quickly and nicely... Uh, turn around the gun so like for for bad ground I guess that's actually pretty smart I, I by the way I really like the style of this British unit so it's always so steampunk like right like we encountered a very cool Rolls-Royce made uh, recon unit um, during one of the last missions I think during Dieppe the raid on Dieppe uh, Okay, so another big question is We we never really came to the So let's go like so maybe we did it like here, right? Let's do some air recon here Ah, yeah Oh, come on. That's the fourth one. Come on. Why are they shooting us so, so well? Yeah. Okay, there are defenders. So I think we can just land here. Because they shouldn't be able to to get uh, a reaction fire, right? I think so. We can just land on the oil rig, and theoretically we could land there and then just go away. But on the other hand, I don't want them to stay here on it. Yeah. So that's actually it's all a rather bad situation. Okay. So. But it's good to know. It's good to know. Uh, yeah, I kind of I'm I'm a bit deterred from using the air recon more right now. There was 60 points of prestige already. I find that a bit too expensive for the recon. And by the way, we need to build up some tech, some command points anyway uh, for the uh, for for getting the amphibious planes for our last three soldiers, which we use for the invasion of Borneo, which we need to do like in two turns or so. Okay, but well, here we need to be very careful. So Those you guys can just there. fly back no. and... The sky is like an ocean. Uh, and maybe we shouldn't Shots. give them the information. Let's shoot the guys first. So artillery. Can exceed the range of our guns. A nice shot at them. Very good. And then... We bring this storm. Yeah, let's finish them up with the, with the carrier. Good, they are sitting there. And I wonder why they are not leaving the town. But yeah, let's finish them off. And then that way our... The in we should re remain. Uh, we should keep the infrastructure from working, right? Like with five. So that's good. You guys move in. Take the city of Tomini. No, it's not. We damage it too much. But yeah, next turn it's fine. Next turn it should be fine. So and then we will use our plane to destroy these guys there. What does the emperor want us to do? We fly back. A tactical bomber is here. We need to fly back. Let's do it quickly. <coughs> yeah, and, uh, we need we need to stay out of their range. So this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Oh yeah. So that was like intuitively. I didn't really remember. I thought it was like here somewhere also. Ah well, we had to come close. No, actually, I have to admit, I didn't think about. 
that one at all. I think we knew about that one, right? We did it like here. We knew there were two. The other one, that was, that was the one that came over. Um, I was only thinking about torpedoing him. That was the position. He went here, right? Yeah, well, anyway. So we need to get our submarines going. And then with our battleship, we can sink this one. And we need to torpedo th that one and send the, f uh, the planes in. But it's very bad here with this one, so the uh, with the anti-air. So the battleship actually needs to be here and we, will, we have to come with more uh, destroyers as well. It needs to be one operation. They can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Now they are covering each other pretty nicely actually. So we need to destroy them very quickly. And I think like we have two destroyers here, one of which is already a bit damaged. Observing the horizon. I'm in position. So you go here for the submarine hunt. Like three escorts. And they can go for six tiles in every direction. But I guess they would sail here this direction rather, like there probably. So, but let's be here. Let's actually form perimeters so here. One, two, uh, well, they could go up there as well. Do you require assistance? Yeah, we need to use these guys on this infantry though. We serve faithfully. And we we need these. They will be the escort. Oh and they will come yeah. around for this force here. So battleship goes there. So Our you guys can go here. Dead enemies. Okay. Battleship is like a bitch. Deadly. Then ship yeah. there. We check Just this area. One, two. So let's be here. No one can stop me except for you. Okay, nothing. Protectors of the fleet. Yeah. We are the muscle of okay. the Okay. Well, yeah, well, I guess that's the best that we can do with the ships right now. Um here we need to re Our do the recon the old-fashioned way with, a single hit. with the real like recon to unit. Took over that one there. Oh yeah, we detected someone. Okay. Everything will be better once we get the forward observer with our recon unit as well. Send and then you guys drive there. You found someone? Ah, yeah. Mm. We, lurk in the shadows. we knew about that guy, right? Do you require assistance? And you guys sail in like so. And then you shoot him. You guys follow up with the mortar strike. And then our flamers, these are our scouts, the flamers go in. Yeah, doesn't help. Oh, come on, they killed someone. Well, and you guys finish them off. And we got intelligence data, okay. There's infantry there, more infantry here, okay. Oh. Oh, there's, that's a fort. Oh my goodness, okay. So the infantry is very cheap, fortunately. We are nobody. The Japanese Unseen. don't care for their soldiers. Well, everybody is totally obsessed with uh, with dying anyway. 
big guns are nothing without a fighting spirit. Ask the you guys dead drive guy here. Enemy detected? Finally. I think we shouldn't have any trouble overrunning them. So the infantry the can attack strong. first to okay. soften them up. An iron horse is good. However, and actually I let's have an air strike first because then the tank will be more powerful if the entrenchment is lower right. Our guns are always ready. Let's go with the fighter first. Those bombs are heavy. It's just three yards. The fighter. That's the most efficient thing. <laughs> Feel the power of the empire. I mean, arguably, the artillery here is uh, not dangerous anyway. So actually, we probably should concentrate fire on this infantry here. I hope we run out of ammo soon. You guys. Very good. That's the death zone here, though. So let's concentrate otherwise on the infantry. The weight of our bombs makes you me guys feel more confident. We bring death to a bombing run. Those bombs are quite dangerous. They are know. there. Yeah, you can start right because otherwise with the, the fighter or oh, they do. also do one okay now then uh, then the fighter gets the first strike they should one two three four and could go one forward if they want so shoot here so we should stay clear of this line they will feel the rain of fire The enemy is close. Go here. So that we can actually provide cover for these guys. And then we'll have three bombers here on these three tiles, which leaves one of them exposed. But I just hope that the the way if they have planes. Oh no, they don't have any planes here, right? No, they don't have any here. We would have seen them, right? Although no, we don't. We don't know what's on the ground. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Now we are in range actually. And we need to keep our ships back. All we have is the. Uh, the these guys are there. The here. Are 1, 2, <laughs> 3, 4. Yeah, hmm. Could be that we will have an attack on the planes, but the well. The weight of our bombs makes me feel more confident. Those bombs are heavy. So let's use Thanks you guys and we'll use our uh, Stuka, our dive bomber lastly, because uh, he will have the highest impact. Carrying bombs to enemy lines. And he's we also like the one on that, that has the best defense in the air. Uh, no, actually you guys. Seven plus two and they Our have bomber is here. six plus one. Ah, yeah. Uh, that was, by the way, wrong thinking because uh, they are actually the ones that are exposed. Ah, well. Yeah, now do it doesn't matter. The so you guys. Makes me feel more confident. You can actually get new torpedoes going before we start. So we are ready to intercept anything. So Explosions you guys look like the rising sun. Good morning. Fly there. Carrying bombs to enemy lines. We might even attract the ship, right? Once to one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
One, two, three, four. No. Okay, good. So the ships are not in range to attack uh, the tank. We're running out of ammo. But they know that we are here. These guys are digging in. Entrenchment plus four. Very good. They are veterans of trenches. I guess we will see an air f attack right now. <clears throat> I find that rather likely. Uh, so, and then we have Attack the dive bomber bombers left. Here. Yeah, we can't destroy them, which is kind of sad. You can't hide unless we were willing place. to fly into the zone. And we don't have any, anybody to follow up. Or oh, they actually... Oh no, we, yeah, we could go up there. But then we get a shot. Okay. We bring death on our wings. I mean, we could bring in one more. Oh yeah, actually. Level up. Ah, now let's have the tactical retreat, right? Allows this unit to move three hexes after each attack instead of one. Actually, I think that's probably the best thing. I like the seal, the deal as well, but uh, maybe that's actually an excellent the sky is like an ocean. way. But he can't and do it right now sharks. because he had he needed to have the skill before the attack, I guess. Well, okay. But actually, let's do it. Let's come. try it. We have one fighter left. The of the sky These guys. Your oh, come on. Yeah, well, but then these guys get out of their high entrenchment and they are very, very vulnerable that way. Um, so that might that might be worth it after all. So let's Let's send them here. One. Ah, oh, they sh they can't shoot at us due to the mountain. We are descendants of the noble samurai. Imperial spies, at your service. We are ready to serve. No. So we are not killing them. Show us opposition. We will run them over. We're not killing them this turn, which is very sad. But well, so you guys sky refuel. And then you get here behind the mountain and provide Already some there. interception. Even if it's just limited, it's better than nothing. So and then our I wanted to be a pilot, anti air the did not pass the physical examination. These guys are not really a threat. One, two, also they don't know that we are there. So let's drive here. The area. I'm ready to blast some armor. And you guys can go here and then you go one, one, two, three, four. Next turn, so Great I guess idea. that's fine. Shogun. So, all right. Then, yeah, we have taken control of those guys. We will not let the emperor down. We serve faithfully. I think it might be a good idea to actually refuel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Yeah, we can shoot at them. So let's do that. We will inform that you way. The enemy is ahead. Any subs around? Systems. No. Good. Operation. You guys can get some refueling as well. Then All systems. the hard ball. Operation. I think we need to we need to fall back a little bit because the enemy knows that we are here, right? Just in case. Although we are actually out of uh, range, but uh, they might send a sub. So let's form a defensive perimeter. Although it would be great to be to be here, actually. Uh, 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. They can't touch us. But if planes fly in, yeah, on the other hand, yeah, and then next turn, um, well, we could, we could just sail away if they come for us and then all the planes can attack them. So let's do it. This way we have a f screen. One, two, three, four. Yeah, let's sure. do it. You did reconnaissance before sure. sending kind of high risk, but let's do it. Now, if someone flies from here. Or was there someone? Well, there, there must be more planes, right? Um. So this is the best we can do. And then we will have do you require assistance? one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. There are three, four. Oh, they can actually reach this one here. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Oh, oh, oh. So actually, this is like the only uh, safe spot. Well, then Searching let's go the here. I miss the pleasure. What's up? What's there? Can sail around the coast. And let's use the sub for a moment as recon. Okay, no, no one there. Okay. And we can see for three. One, two, three. Protectors of the fleet. Searching for the. They go there. Yeah. Okay. Oh, how'd you see us? Okay, that's all our navy, navy and air force, have done Big their job. Yeah, you guys spirit. are fine. Ask the dead guy jins. They stay there as well. You guys are on your plane. You stay on the plane. But actually, let's go like so. So let's be here. It's so actually let's be here. And then that way we are on one line. And I want to fly here, take the rig and then move on and attack the artillery there. Yeah, and unfortunately we can't send someone else, like back up. Yeah. Okay. So these guys would need to go here and attack the artillery. This this might also be artillery. There is artillery here. They have a lot of stuff there. Well, yeah, it's the British Empire, right? Like just thinking of this heavy fortification here. They are more mobile there. They have this artillery. It's a pretty nasty piece. Well, I guess, it, but it's uh, quite old, I guess. 13.5, 87 millimeter, QF 25 pounder. Yeah. Okay, so, and that, but that's how we can roll, that's all we can do. Yeah. I mean, oh, they, I mean, they could go into the forest there. And then no one can bomb them, actually. And that way we would also block them from advancing, wouldn't we? Like towards uh, these guys. Yeah, let's go into the. Let's go into the security of the forest with them. The enemies of the empire will not run away from us. It's not a trap here anyway because they know that the fighter is there. Only the tank can be attacked. 
Good. All right, that's all. Let's end the turn. Beside the tank. Do we actually, do we have... No, we don't have any resupplies right now. And you guys have only... No, yeah, who had one shot? What does the Emperor want us to do? There was someone with only one shot. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. So anyway, that was this day. We have encountered something very nasty and very dangerous for us. This King George V class battleship. And that is way better than anything that we have. By the way, King George V uh, was the most modern uh, battleship of 1941-42 uh, of the whole world. Like with these quad turrets. Tremendous firepower and uh, the Prince of Wales was sunk by land-based uh, bombers and torpedo bombers, I think, uh, of Imperial Japan. Um, and that actually marked kind of the, the end of the battleship era. Uh, but I also did some other reading on this one and uh, some historians who checked out the wreck uh, actually came to a different conclusion because they they thought that the anti-aircraft screen of this one here that was actually sufficient to deal with any incoming bombers but the crews were actually not properly trained on these weapons yeah well we, i guess we are not going to find out uh, how they would have fared if these were all anti-aircraft experts if they had been anti-aircraft experts or well-trained troops uh, but that that was basically like yeah they i think they didn't build any new battleships after that i th i guess right or maybe they did i'm not sure like the united states but uh i believe or at least like most of the programs uh you know they they didn't plan for many more maybe they they uh, finished building up what what was uh, on the wharfs or something but uh, the era of battleships ended after they found out that it was cheaper and more efficient to send planes for these kind of ships. So, but we have the opportunity to sink one ourselves now, which is a great thing. Let's do that. That is our personal priority target now. So, good. And that's it. Let's see what happens next. Oh yeah, there are planes. Okay, good. Oh yeah, we've ambushed them. I would have thought that like ambushing them a little bit further away would have been good. Hey, come on. Oh no. Okay, two damaged. That's good. No one dead. But we drew some of their bombers out. That's actually a good thing. But I think we need to retreat our ships. That's the grunt. So the big question is, where did the the submarine go? Okay, we deterred it. These guys. So there was no submarine attack. Okay, I'm just speeding this one up. There we go. Okay, so now it is night. And there are these guys. Where is the enemy? <coughs> they don't know that we have flak around. One, two. One, two, three, four, five. So like this is here. This here is our our screen, and I think we can just stay there actually, because that way we are also defending uh, the oil field in case they want to do something. Okay. So then our artillery from a distance. can shoot those guys. Big That's the only Big target time. anyway. And then the infantry, I mean, they... Show us opposition, we will run them over. 
Yeah, we can just run them over, huh? Can they shoot? Oh, they can shoot there. Okay. Oh! They, did they shoot the infantry? I didn't see it. But well. That's the situation there. Uh, otherwise, yeah. We don't know if they approached us. But I think we are going to... The Imperial Fleet knows no defeat. Uh, we are going to retreat the ships. But we are sending the fighters uh, for the bombers as well. What These does guys... The want us to do? Could get the kill. That would be a good thing, but they will just be demoralized, I think. Oh, and by the way, do we have a hero yet? Fighter can be assigned. Okay, but yeah, it doesn't matter now anyway. As they are not going to get a level soon, so... Them. Let's fly there. Actually, I think it's more important to take that one out of the sky. And let's identify them. Yep, very good. There they are. And we do have a sub here, right? Where's the sub? There. How many of the planes do you have? Okay. We need these planes definitely to attack the ship and they only have one left yeah, so actually I think they need to attack them first so we know the numbers let's have but let's have the weak fighter first you guys go there and let's use the afterburner good now we have a clear position. We bring this storm. Now you guys Fire shoot storm. at them. Fire. Very good. No one can escape our fire. Now you guys attack them. Should have used the other ten. Oh, that looks like a kill, right? Yes. Oh, nice. Excellent. That is better than I thought. Very good. And now we have one fighter left that can actually shoot this one. But we'll have an air shot. Very good. This guy first. Softening them up. Yeah, they are running, but... Uh, they are well within our flag range now. Oh, they, now they know something about our approaching infantry, though. Uh, which was supposed to take that one. Okay, let's continue here then. Uh, yeah, no, or rather, yeah, you guys. Those bombs are heavy. You get the kill. It's not a kill, I guess. So the dive bomber next? attacks first. Incredible. They're still Very good. Able to run. Are we fully loaded? Yeah, well. Oh, guys, and uh, I need to stop here. I need the episode to stop. Unfortunately, it's been a long time. Um, we will continue next time. Sorry about this. I just, uh, I actually had planned to play this uh, turn to the end and then end the episode. Uh, but yeah, we'll continue next time. Thanks for watching. I would appreciate it if you click the like button and subscribe to the channel. We'll continue. And that will be very exciting. And I'm really glad that uh, we destroyed the, uh, this, uh, this bomber wing there. Um, that is certainly a good thing. Bristol Blenheim bomber. So. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.